Hi everybody, I'm back, second video on YouTube. I'm excited about it. Uh, created this channel to talk about watches, all things watches, wearing watches, snobbery, brands, looks, movements, wants, needs, all that kind of stuff. And I'll probably end up putting some other things on here that have, has nothing to do with watches also. But um, yeah, today I have a question and I'm probably going to have a couple of more questions in the next couple of bits coming up. I consider myself a uh, uh, upper tier beginner upper level beginner not a not an intermediate or advanced uh, I like to think I'm advanced but I'm really not so uh, that's why I'm asking questions always learning continuously learning about watches horology uh, man it's just a great subject very interesting very interesting so yeah I, I, I right now I have a um, a few watches I, my beater's a uh, Seiko SKX Diver, and I really like it. It's a really, really nice watch. I have it about two years, a couple of different bands for it, and I, I beat the crap out of it every day. I love it. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great, great beater. And I'm looking at a Rolex, but... I want to get another watch in between there and I'm looking at the Seiko 5 Sport um, 55 Fathoms watch awesome looking watch it's so cool looking I know it's modified and I know it's a sin to be modified or modify a watch as they do with the the Rolex Red Submariner that's a major no-no. But uh, hey, this is a Seiko, so who really, who freaking cares? It's a Seiko. Um, I love the looks of it. I love the dial. I love the date, where they put the date on the modification. I love the hands. It's basically a homage to the uh, blank paint, 50 fathoms. So, um, yeah. They put 55 fathoms on, little play on words. I don't know if it's to get around uh, having it look like the 50 fathoms or, or what that is, but great watch. I mean, uh, I love the bezel on it. It doesn't have a screw down crown, which I'm really not keen on. Can't take it swimming or anything, but it's kind of more of a a diver a, a, a diver watch and a watch that looks like a diving watch it's not really a diving watch so you know wear it for a beater everyday beater yeah or or even dress so check them out if you haven't um i just think they're so cool they're uh 23 jewel uh in-house seiko movement and um I, you know, at least my SKX tells a pretty good time. I mean, it keeps accurate time. Um, so, I'm assuming this would, too. Get them in all different colors. I think there's a gold, a blue, and a black. And, um, yeah. That's what I'm looking at. I'm looking to buy one of those. Should I buy one, or should I just keep saving for the Rolex? tell you the truth, I'm not even sure what Rolex I want. I, I was looking at the Explorer 2. I really uh, I really like the GMT function. Looking at the Rolex Batman, but that's kind of... Oh, man. That's kind of at the top end of my, end of my budget or price range, should I say. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think be interested to hear your comments hey share like subscribe and appreciate it and uh stay well i'll be back